Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from Tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to create a black and white version of a color image. Before in CS3 and earlier, the best you could do was desaturate an image and then play with the curves a little bit. But with CS4, Photoshop has added a black and white filter. So this is what we'll use. So the first thing is go down and create a new adjustment layer and click black and white. Now it's pretty simple. Photoshop has a few defaults up here. If you want to do an infrared look or maximum black and white, yeah, check out these and play with them and see what they do. But for the sliders, if you want to do it yourself, and so how these work is Photoshop looks at the color image and then you can determine how the black and white affects it. So for this sky here, which was blue, if you were to pull the slider down, it would make all the blues really dark in your image. And then if we were to look at the reds, which was just that building, we can choose how we want those. We can bring those up. There was also a lot of cyan, and so we could adjust that. We, so you can play with these sliders. In portraits, there's lots of reds and yellows. And then if you want to create a sepia tone, you can add tint, and then pick the color here. If you want to make a sepia tone image, you can pick a yellow tone to get the just the light effect, pick closer to the white. And another thing, if you click this button here, then you can grab on your image and drag left or right. So if you want like these blue, this here that would have been blue, you can drag it down. You can see on the right on the blues that that moves when I drag on the image. And then if I drag over here on this building, it would just affect the whites. So that way you don't have to try and guess which colors were in the color image. And the reason I like to create a black and white using a contrast layer as opposed to uh, going up here, which you can do image adjustments black and white, is because then you have this adjustment layer on top and you can hide it if you want or you can bring down the opacity if you just want to desaturate it partially and have the effect like this, which can be sort of interesting. And that's it. You're set. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.